Greetings. Hello. Oh, welcome. ArtsCalpine.net. John Potter. Rebecca Martinez. Good. You know, we have a, a, a really cool show here today. Of course, we all have cool shows. That's right. But, uh, so behind us is the uh, painting, it's rather massive, by Hugo Rivera. Very one, impressive. One of the uh, uh, Laguna Beach artists that are here at the uh, gallery in Auburn. The General, General Gomez. Gomez. The General Gomez. And uh, so let's talk about some events that are coming up. Sure. There's an art appreciation with Professor Pam Sharp. And this is from, uh, sponsored by the Amador County Arts Council. And uh, it's at 229 New York Ranch Road. That's in Jackson. And uh, it's a discussion group. Go down. It looks like it's part of a pretty big, good series they have on art appreciation and classes. Yeah, it's on Thursdays. It's on Thursdays classes. from 1 to 3, and drop-ins yeah. are welcome. So go down and uh, get some art appreciation. With, it's a weekly discussion group. And it's free. Yeah. And it's free. That's in Jackson. And it's so nice. People get to meet in person. Yeah, this is yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah, things are changing. <laughs> uh, oh, wait a minute. We have another... Professor because Pam this workshop. is part of that same series. Oh, is yeah. it? Okay. Uh -huh. Thursday, March 3rd, which is this Thursday, coming up this Thursday. And again, it's at the Amador Arts Council, New York Ranch Road. Again, free, but it's from 3.30 to 5. I guess it's like follow on to the other one, right? Right. This is a family art class. Right. Okay. So Thursday, 1 to 3, art appreciation, and then starting at 3.30, it's the family art class. Right. For, uh, Hands on. That's right, we get to draw and paint or whatever the medium of the day is, right? right? Uh-huh. Okay, that's uh, March 3rd, sponsored Amateur Arts Council. Now, if you ever want to learn how to paint, Uni Stevens has a class for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Koi and Dragonfly. Mm -hmm. Sip and paint. Well, you can sip while you're painting, too. <laughs> I think it's open for adults. <laughs> She actually, she calls it sip and paint, but at Persimmon, she can, we can't serve alcohol. Okay, so, so it's usually, apple cider? Yeah, uh, it's something usually like another that. beverage. Okay, nice. yeah. okay. And Uni's classes are super popular. Mm -hmm. uh, you go home with the painting, so she doesn't, uh, you know, waste any time. She has her can your canvas all ready, she has everything ready to go, and you go home with the painting. And I think you'll probably show what the painting is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is uh, at the Persimmon Art Gallery on March 8th, Thursday, that's a week from this coming Thursday, mm -hmm. uh, one to four, the price is $50 and includes everything, right? Mm -hmm. The canvas, mm -hmm. And she still has a couple parts. spaces left. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a, uh, six students. So if there's some available, sign up, learn mm -hmm. how to paint a dragonfly with a koi. You get to feel comfortable with the paints then. Too. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Sounds good. It's acrylic, right? Yes. Acrylic painting. Okay, and now there's an all youth paint party at the Art Center of Lincoln. Art League of Lincoln. Well, it says Art Center of Lincoln here. It does say that, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, uh, well, it is the Art League of Lincoln, but it's the, uh -huh. at the Art Center right. of Lincoln. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's probably the same place, right? It is. <laughs> and this is part of a series that's offered actually through the city of Lincoln. I think it was originally a series of six, and they might be almost. Oh, they're running. Through. Yeah, we're, we're we're right in the middle of it. So right. on March twelfth, they're oh, they're painting dragonflies. And this is also dragonfly. Oh, yeah, must be dragonfly uh -huh. season for us. And it's targeted to youth. Right, right, mm. and it's it starts at uh, twelve and goes until one thirty. Price is forty dollars. Cool, and the. Instructor is oh, Deidre Trudeau. Trudeau. She's very energetic and um, upbeat. She's also the executive director. Right? She is also yeah. the executive director at well, oh. Art League of Lincoln. Yeah. Yeah. So you'd like to register for register for a class? Go to the artlingoflincoln dot com classes. Well, that's actually uh, it'll direct you to the city's website. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And now, there's no place like nowhere. Paintings by Michael S. Moore. Uh -huh. This is an art exhibit uh, at the Maryland Citron O'Rourke Art Gallery in the Benicia Public Library. And uh, 
Tell me a little bit about Michael Moore. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to talk about Michael Moore. There's quite an explanation here. Yeah, there is. It, it, it is rather large. Let's see, He's a landscape artist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's been working since 2000 in his studio and with his wife, sculptor Linda Fleming. And uh, it looks like it's in the historic brewery and saloon in Venetia. That's where his studio is located. That should be fun. Mm -hmm. So this is the uh, Michael S. Moore art exhibit. Apparently there's going to be more than one painting. There are going to be several. So it looks good. The sample looks really beautiful. And that's in uh, 150 East L Street in Venetia. Cool. 1 a.m. I'm mean, sorry, 1 a.m. 10 a.m. Forgot a zero. To 9 p.m. So it's open quite a, quite a while. Yeah. And it's free to come in and check it out. So that there's no place like nowhere. And now for our, our final talk of today. Right. Well, we know a lot of um, our artists, a lot of our viewers uh, mm -hmm. make and produce their items and also and sell them on Etsy. And mm -hmm. I'm, probably everybody has heard that uh, Etsy is raising their rates again. Again? Again. Oh, hmm. Yeah, because they, I think they started off at about 2.5% way back when. Um, it, they when they started, it was three point five percent plus in 2018. twenty cents, and that, yeah, in twenty eighteen they went to five percent, which is what it is now. And even though the earnings for the company are up, uh, they had a record breaking two thousand twenty one fourth quarter. Um, Seven hundred and seventeen million uh -huh. and they need more money so they can make that more improvements right I right. think they just know they have everybody <laughs> by the well yeah how many more are there for selling artworks there's actually quite a few there, there are quite a few options yeah maybe we should research even... that yeah we'll, we'll yeah. research that and come back to you there are quite a few options if you create artwork and you want mm -hmm. to sell it online there are quite a few options if you're going to sell originals mm -hmm or copies of some sort of clays mm -hmm. or put your products on merchandise there are many options okay. and any of you artists out there that have ideas put them in the comments uh -huh. please or you can email us at team at artscuffering.net although i have to say etsy has the biggest market well they also on advertise on television too they advertise they, on yeah, tv they and they have they TV. have sellers from all over the world mm -hmm. i've bought garments from um, like a small group of women in China who make, you know, limited amount of clothing. Not those sweatshops. No, it's no, not a sweatshop. No. <laughs> it's a small group of women who banded together to make okay. sort of cool. designer type clothing. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think that'll about do us for today. Mm hmm. And from the uh, General Gomez Gallery, live, artscomedy.net. Right. Uh huh. And don't forget to like us, give us a thumbs up, don't be afraid to share. As far oh, wait, one more thing. What's that? We uh, did we welcome our new member Terry Shern last time? Yes, we did. Okay, good, that's great. Good, yes. And uh, don't forget you, you mentioned yeah. that already. Uh -huh. Like us, artscompany.net, or you can email us at team at artscompany.net. All right, thank you. Bye. Thanks, bye bye. bye.